We're at the airport 520s. We will have around eight hours in Rome. We should be in the city by eight o'clock. Let's see what is possible, what we can do within eight hours in the Italian capital. Quick update, it is 8.27. We arrived a bit later than expected. I thought we would be in the city at eight o'clock. Um, we will be heading to the Vatican now, so what's the plan? The plan is to see as much as possible in the time we've got. First thing, Vatican, and after that probably we make our way down past the Pantheon, go to the Colosseum, see if we can get inside. We just want to try and see as much as we can. Exactly 9 o'clock and we just arrived at the first place that we wanted to see, the Vatican. Interesting fact about the Vatican, it is not only a place in Rome, it also has a border which is just behind me where you see this fence. This is actually an international border and we are about to cross it. So today we did not only fly to another city, we are also crossing an international border and we are visiting the smallest country in the world. There it is. So we are trying to get in, as you can see, no lines at all. So I hope we will be lucky enough to actually get inside. I've never been in there because the queues were just way too long. So who would have thought just five minutes after we arrived in Vatican City that we're already <laughs> on the way to get inside the Basilica and the Peter's Dome. Like literally we haven't had to queue up for a single moment. And now we are here at the entrance. I won't talk that much in here because obviously it's a holy place for a lot of people so I will try to get as much as possible on camera but I won't be talking. So, really unique experience. We are outside and we're going to the next place. Not 100% sure what it will be. We are back from the German cemetery. I did not film inside, but the whole experience that you actually have to go there and ask the Swiss guard in German language if you're allowed to go inside and then they have to give you like a permit kind of. And if you're German, look it up if you're interested in it. You can go there and ask if you are allowed to go inside and have a look there. So we got 10.51 now. We'll be probably heading down towards the Pantheon, grab some food on the way and then try to see as much stuff as possible until we have to leave around 4 p.m. Take We arrived at the Pantheon, there's just a small queue, so we should get in pretty fast. That was the quick trip to the Pantheon. 
if you're in Rome definitely come here check it out entry is for free and this I call it ceiling I'm not sure if that's the right word is just stunning like let's do a time check it's 12.35 I just checked the map so our next spot Sebastian just grabbed some burgers at the moment just 12 minutes from the Travis Fountain so we'll be heading there I can see the Travis Fountain and usually that's like one of the most busiest spots when I was here but it looks like that again not many people are here Look like that's maybe like not even 5% of how busy it usually was here. Okay, let's pretend the coin was in the fountain. <laughs> There's some military coming. Some military just came in the way. And I wanted to do this tourist thing to throw a coin inside. Did not hit it, I think. That's how it sounded. So maybe I've got bad luck for the next 20 years. I hope not. Let's do a time check. nearly one now should have like good two hours at the Colosseum we're just walking towards the Colosseum so finally we are there I see good chances that we can just buy a ticket and go inside so I'm looking forward to check it out just set the gates here we made it and still got plenty of time I must say yes like 136 still got like almost two and a half hours to check out the Colosseum and I think the second one is for the Forum Romano so maybe we even got time to go in there we are here at the second rank now down here the first one and above me were the ranks so the higher you were sitting the lower was actually the rank in society for you everyone who lived in Rome had at least once a year the chance to go to the Colosseum and to watch a fight in here I think that's like the best spot to show you a bit how it feels when you were standing up here or sitting and had a view over the whole arena This where I just pointed at was like a flat surface. Same what you can see in the back. And beneath the surface the catacombs where there were wild animals and the gladiators waiting to get out. Feared probably for their life because you knew the chances are pretty high that they're going to die. You can just imagine like here's where actually the fights were going on. It is 2.22 p.m. and now we're trying to get into the Forum Romane. We're inside Forum Romano. It is now quarter past three we decided to head to the station where we can get the train to the airport it was a really nice day we had around seven and a half hours in Rome and it was enough time to see a lot of stuff even been inside the Colosseum been inside the Vatican thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed our short trip to Rome and safe travels everyone